How y'all doing? It's a glorious day. We're doing another flip cup. The colors I'm gonna be using are this moss green, seafoam green, aqua blue, mmm, and this bright blue here. And then for the white color that you're seeing in there, I have the this little piggy pearlescent color. It's gorgeous. It's just gorgeous. I love it. But I've already taken the time to uh, mix and layer the cup. I tried to layer them in such a way that there will be a gradient going from dark to light. Um, there is no the mix pouring medium in this one. This one is all Floetrol. Because I know Floetrol is a little bit more readily accessible. And I want to be able to illustrate to y'all wonderful human beings what Arteza mica powders can do when they are mixed with Floetrol. But this is my first time meeting you. My name is Johnny from JMO Painting. On this channel we focus mostly on acrylic pouring art and some instructional how-to content trying to make you guys have a better chance of taking your art to the next level. But most of all, we just come here for silly games and stuff like that. So if that's something you're into, tap that subscribe button. I'd love to have you as part of this tiny little family over here. All right, so I'm not gonna have to let these paints kind of settle too much because it was full to the brim. So we should be able to just flip this out and, and see what happens. Here's to hoping. Oh, okay. Now that's, that's really pretty, y'all. I don't even think it's gonna give me the chance to kind of try to let these cells develop on their own. Let me hit with a torch. Just try to pop any of these surface bubbles if I can without throwing this composition everywhere. It's already starting to run off, so. Whoa, now that is, that's some color, y'all. I like the lacing a lot better with Floetrol than I did with the mix. Maybe it's because it's a little thinner, so it lets the colors kind of solidify better. So let's tilt. I'm gonna tilt quickly, trying to get it to that corner a little bit more fast. And off, back to the center. Oh man, these colors are crazy. These aren't colors that I would have thought would look really, really cool together, but they actually do. That white is just popping off that blue and dark green. It's kind of a cool, like a dark hunter green. I feel like this one's almost a little bit more holiday than, than the last one. Well, dang it. So let's move this composition back towards the center. We kept a lot of that lacing in there, which is awesome, because that is super pretty. You know what? I bet you if I was to hit this with the torch, it would probably make some really cool cells. So let's see. I'm sure it's gonna do something. It's having a very small reaction with the silicone right now. But those cells that are already there are growing even larger. Oh yeah. That's gorgeous right there. Man oh man. So I've had a video idea topic in my head for a few days now, and I would like to get your feedback if it's something you'd be interested in watching. Now, I take my runoff a lot of the time, and I let it dry, and it makes skins. Well, I turn those skins into jewelry for my market and whatnot. Uh, would you be interested in watching a video about how I do that? If so, let me know in the comments below 
That way I can get cracking on that video for you guys. I always try to give you some kind of value if possible. So if there's any topics you really want to hear about, you know, smash those things down in the comment section below. And I will try my best to make sure that I get them out for you guys. So with that, let's get down here and look at all this shimmery metallic goodness. So this is those freaking colors. They look really, really cool. I love how that white is just overlaying most of them. And then you're seeing like that crazy gradient in between each cell, all those multicolored cells. Now this actually reminds me of a very abstract version of the ocean. It's got all the colors. If you want to watch another video just like this, click the screen right now and I'll see you there.